Hey, how's it going YouTube? Ian here from Budget Gaming and today we're going to go over some of my pawn shop pickups. So I went to a pawn shop, actually two of them, picked up all these games and I spent about $40. So uh, you know I got some I got some good deals, uh, it's not really much junk that I got but uh, that, that really depends on your personal taste. So uh, without further ado let's uh, get into uh, one of the games that I picked up at a dollar. It's uh, Wet for the PS3. Now Wet follows the uh, the main character here. Her name's Ruby and it's kind of a John Woo-esque uh, action game. So put out by Bethesda. So if you're a Bethesda fan you might want to check this out. It's not their best work. It's no Skyrim but for a dollar you know it's pretty pretty decent deal. Let's see the Hunter. Hunter for the PS4. I got this at two dollars. So two dollars, so I'm at three dollars right now, and uh, I got a PS3 and a PS4 game. Another uh, PS4 game that I got is uh, right here is let's see, Grand Kingdom. So I've never heard of this game, never played it. It's one of those games I'm looking forward to, to trying out. So I'll have to give it a try, and I'll see what I think. Let's see, another game that I've never really heard of. I'm not really a 3DS uh, guy right now. Maybe eventually when the, the games come down in price, you know, maybe go up in price. Maybe I'll uh, get into collecting for it then. But uh, yeah, Steam for the 3DS. Now, yeah, no idea uh, what this game's about. I guess it's you're supposed to fight to save history. But um, yeah, Steam, 3DS for a dollar. Uh, some more stuff that I got for a dollar. I got some uh, PSP uh, movies. So uh, you can see, let's see, uh, Lockhard. 28 Days Later. Got some uh, Chris Rock stand up, you know. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Never heard of this movie before, so I have to give it a try. And uh, SWAT. Big fan of the the PSP uh, movies. I don't know why uh, Sony thought the UMD movies were gonna take off. They obviously didn't. But you know, I'm getting them for about a dollar a piece. So uh, let's see. Alien vs Predator. I got this at a dollar. You know, uh, walked into the uh, the pawn shop. It was right outside of Fort Bliss, and they just had these tubs of uh, games. It's just uncategorized games, uh, just randomly thrown in there. It was uh, Xbox, Xbox 360, PS4, PS1, PS4, uh, and the P uh, and the Xbox One games were two dollars. The uh, PS3 and the Xbox 360 games were a dollar a piece. So, you know, I just dug in there, picked out whatever looked good or uh, that I didn't own yet, and I, I got that. A uh, game that I don't own is uh, Wheel of Fortune. I have no idea how much this goes for. Probably not much, but who knows? You know, some, sometimes these games uh, end up being really collectible, and I don't understand why. Um, maybe if you're going for a complete set, you know, and sometimes uh, a game like this will hold someone up. Um, but yeah, Wheel of Fortune got it at a dollar. Hopefully, it's got some pretty easy trophies. Another game I got for a dollar is. Battlefield 4. So uh, I played this when I was uh, living in Korea. You know, I played this for the I think the uh, Xbox 360. I don't know if I, I ever played the uh, PS3 version though. So that's uh, a game that I've been wanting to get into. Again, try it out. So uh, yep, at a dollar. Prototype 2. You got Prototype 2 for a dollar. Now this game I uh, I thoroughly enjoyed. I. I Preferred the uh, first one, that's just my personal preference, but uh, at a dollar, you know, I'd love to add it to my collection. I've already beat it, so it's going straight to my shelf. Uh, let's see, SSX, at a dollar. Uh, I've never been uh, really into the uh, snowboarding games, although I, you know, when I saw this at a dollar, I, I had some fond memories of playing uh, SSX Tricky on the PS2 at a, at a friend's house. And uh, I was like, you know what, at a dollar, I'll, I'll try it out. Maybe uh, I'll get into that, you know. Um, Tales from the Borderlands. 
Now this is a game that I I, I already own uh, the digital copy of. Played it through, loved it uh, at a dollar, you know, you can't beat that price. So that's going straight to my shelf as well. Now this one is a uh, PS3 game. I, uh, I overspent on this one. Uh, well, they wanted $7.99 for it. Uh, I offered the guy three, he, he took that. And uh, yeah, Resident Evil Revelations. I've been recently getting into the Resident Evil franchise. I have some friends that uh, let me uh, play the their original copy of uh, the Resident Evil Director's Cut for the PS1. And uh, we finally played through it together. I finally beat it for the first time uh, back in May. And uh, I was like, you know what? I got to get into this, this franchise. It scared the hell out of me as a kid. You know, especially that, that first zombie that you encounter where it turns around and uh, it's looking at you. That that freaked me out as a kid. But, uh, but yeah, as an adult playing through it, it was a great time. So I've been trying to collect all the Resident Evil games that I can. Uh, another game I got for a dollar is uh, Battle for the Pacific. So this is a History Channel uh, first-person shooter. Uh, usually these aren't the best quality, uh, but it's put out by Activision, and uh, I'll have to give it a shot, you know, at, just to add to my uh, my shelf. Now here's a game that I played for originally on the PS3. Uh, I had a buddy who had the uh, he had the Xbox 360 version, and now it's playable on the Xbox One as well as the 360. So oh, this is uh, Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion. So if you're familiar with Skyrim, this is the game that preceded that. Uh, so yeah, right before Skyrim came out, this was was their uh, Elder Scrolls franchise right here. And boy, is this such a great game! In fact, I believe this yeah it comes comes with uh, Knights of the Nine and the Shivering Isles. And uh, yeah, great great game. I uh, actually have the uh, Shivering Isles expansion CD or uh, Blu-ray on the uh, PS3, and that's uh, something that is really hard to come by now. So I'm glad that I got that in my collection. Uh, some more uh, 360 games that I got um, just to finish it up. It's uh, Dungeon Siege. Uh, never, never really uh, played this game, but at a dollar, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Saints Row. Now, I just picked up Saints Row 2 um, about a month ago, and I was like, man, I really hate playing games out of order. So, uh, yeah, now I, this is a, this is a game that I've wanted to add to my collection and uh, play. I don't think that ever came out on the uh, PS3, so I, I think it's it's actually a 360 ex exclusive. Don't uh, don't quote me on that. You know, I'll, I'll have to do my own research, find out. If I can get that on the uh, PS3, but if uh, if it's a 360 exclusive, then uh, yeah, great to add to my collection. And then uh, finally, uh, Samurai Warriors 2. Now, it comes in this uh, really junky looking case, but the game's good. It's in there, and uh, there's no scratches on it. So you know, at a dollar, I don't care. the the green The green case is about about worth that. So. You know, and that's that's what I picked up. Uh, you know, I think I spent about forty dollars, uh, maybe a little a little less. Uh, I I think it maybe about thirty seven dollars. Who knows? Forty dollars with tax, I, I'd say. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, be sure to the check check out what I got coming. Thank you. Bye.